An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Kasper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Kasper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans? who are calling you the new Devon Butler. <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work, and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he OK? It's Casper OK. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. Well, there we have it. I think we're going to get fireworks tonight in the Alpha Towery garage. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? 
Oh, Butler. Um, Devon, I didn't see that. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. I think that's really just a case of rookie driver, rookie mistake. <laughs> These cars are a bit different than Aiden's used to in F2. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Alpha Tauri were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Okay, Aiden. let's talk about that incident with your teammate. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aiden Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's bashed his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Ada, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. Casper. What the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper! Ackerman! Mum! Cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackerman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage. I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay? Hmm. I'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. I uh, thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then. So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. 
And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the spec to an Aidens, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Well, of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? It's clear from anyone watching either in the stands or at home the determination on show from Alpha Tauri and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, Ant. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season and his driving today impeccable. Here's a test room now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two and his teammates after him. Willie Budge! Hold position, Aidan. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before! Two teammates wheel to wheel! Keep it clean! Inches separating them and they crash! Oh, they've come together in spectacular style! And they're both out of the race! Close the door. Sit down. What the hell was going on out there? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you both. Acting like, like a couple of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, Not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're both out, you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Go away. Hey. Hey. So, what did he say? Threatened to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You've survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. Yeah. I'll see you later. Another season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth, but AlphaTauri still hope for the youngster can secure a decent position for them. 
Let's see how he gets on here. Oh. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. You did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kaspar. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. Shouldn't have to. Look, I'm, I'm losing grip. Understood. Can you box next lap, Kasper? Box next lap. No, I need to come in. Oh, it's quite bad. We've got Aiden coming in now. Just hold out one more lap, please, Kasper. Down. Yes, he's uh, on a different strategy, though. Haven't I got priority? He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Fine. Nope. I'm all over the place here. I'm coming in now. Must have been pretty urgent for Aiden, eh? Please be patient, Casper. There goes another piece. And another. Okay, let's go, let's go. I just don't get it, Zoe. He gets to pit ahead of me. And they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me in qualifying. <sighs> this kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on, this is your last season. You said you'd make it count. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sanvort next, remember? Everyone's going to be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Well, that's that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Hmm. Yeah. First album's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it. Hey, man. Great race today. Thanks. Thanks. Nice one, Casper. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. Shame your teammate couldn't bring himself to congratulate you. No. Uh, well, he's just a kid. Well, the kid is getting signed by Red Bull. So they say. Never gonna happen. Oh? <laughs> you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're going to have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. Yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. No? Yeah? I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had some very interesting things to say about Jackson. You know what his problem is, don't you? Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate, his words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. See, he should respect you like I do. Great race out there today, buddy. Yeah? Ciao. Copy, Casper. Let Jackson pass, please. I don't understand. You can have the 
place back if you can't pull away. Is he landing quicker? Yeah, he's behind you, Casper. Confirm you'll let him pass, please. Look, he's not close enough. Come on, Casper. What was that? Hey! Just leave it. No, just talk to me for once! Just let go. Now back off! Why does he have to be like this? Oh, so I'm the problem! You won't let me pass. You won't even talk to me. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? How am I supposed to do that? I'm all ears. You give me space out there. What's your problem? I'm trying to win. Oh, and that makes you special? You're a nightmare, Casper. Well, you won't have to put up with me for much longer. What's that supposed to mean? I am sick and tired of all this. I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Wait. What? Casper! Casper! Casper. What's going on? We need to clear something up. Take a seat. Clear what up? Aiden thinks it's his fault that you're retiring. I'm sorry, Casper. I do respect you. Quite a lot, in fact. And I don't want you to retire. I didn't mean the things that I said. And I want you to know that if you're retiring because of me, I'll... <laughs> Will you tell him? This anxiety... It's no good for his performance. I'm not retiring because of you. Everyone says... I'm not retiring because of you. Can I go now? No. You're going to give him two minutes of your time. Well, Brian, what am I? His therapist. Two minutes, Casper. That's all. Everyone says... Everyone's an idiot. Look, I'm not retiring because of you. I told Brian after Zandvoort. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. It's tough. Yeah, can be. The press. Social media. I don't know. How do you deal with it all? Listen. There's only a handful of us in the whole world who get to do what we do. Yeah. A handful? You deal with it by never forgetting how lucky you are to be here. Understand? Never forget. Hey, Casper. Yeah? Do you ever forget? Sometimes. Sometimes we all do. All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. What? N nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. Stop that. Like this. <laughs> okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Well, he's still not right. 
He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. You know. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Well, yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that um, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? <laughs> What if I can... Oh my god. What? You've gone soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid in your own career be damned. And what if I did? <laughs> so Casper Ackerman does have a heart after all. I'll alert the media. No, no, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Red Bull have a seat coming up next season. Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? I honestly don't know. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> You've been wonderful. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening, and let's... Push for four! Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent has been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just... I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? He wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you... Verify that number for me. That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. 
Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologise to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the centre of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed the Bella Dean. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Kenneth. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Haas are catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Red Bull. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tyre temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce? Fellas! Sell out crowd this ain't. Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh, well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun. Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, you know, it was very entertaining. Now you just mope around bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devon. I won't win. 
Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. <laughs> what, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Red Bull see his mind, don't you? The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh... Mate? I don't know who this is going to. Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Schumacher's retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Alpha Tauri, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. Tauri potentially on track to really upset Haas here with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. He's trying to win that place back, but which way is he going to go? Down the inside he goes and they've hit each other. That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier and that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Alpha Tauri car still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty, but he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant, but can Kasper Ackerman's Alpha Tauri car finish? You okay, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, but is out of the race. Butler's out, we have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Casper. Okay. You need to go for third, Aiden. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Kaspar! <laughs> we did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Uh, no. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Rose Digo, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. Bid you a fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? <laughs> this isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment out there. Brian, when have I ever led you down? You really want me to answer that? Best not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now well, the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. You've earned it. <laughs> 